Last week, viewers, the Gandhis, and I'm going to show you some of these visuals. The Gandhis sat silently in parliament, reluctant to express their point of view during the debate on the center's decision to revoke Article 370. You can see them on the left. Sonia Gandhi is silent, looking on as Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary, the LOP in the Lok Sabha, went about denigrating India. They watched as the party's key lieutenants came out one by one and expressed their reservations against One India. Till then, the Gandhis were silent. They haven't spoken, except for today. Except for today. Today, for the first time, perhaps divulging the manner in which the Gandhis view the debate on Article 370 Priyanka Gandhi Vadra. In Uttar Pradesh, speaking to reporters, said that this decision to revoke Article 370 was an illegal one. It was an illegal decision. Listen to her. जो हुआ है वो संविधान को नकारा गया है और कांग्रेस पार्टी ने हमेशा संविधान के लिए लोकतंत्र के लिए लड़ाई लड़ी है हम उस लड़ाई को लड़ते रहेंगे ये बहुत एक बहुत स्पष्ट राय है कांग्रेस पार्टी की और यही स्टेटमेंट में कि जिस तरह से जिस तरह से ये किया गया है जिस तरह से सुनिए जिस तरह से ये किया गया है देखिए सिंधिया जी ने भी सी डब्ल्यू टी सी में भी हैं उन्होंने भी ये स्टेटमेंट साइन किया है तो सब सहमत है ना यू हर्ड दैट स्टेटमेंट एवरी वन शॉक लिस्टिंग टू प्रियंका गांधी रिमेंबर देर है लीडर्स from within the Congress party that have come out in support, including Mr. Karan Singh. They've come out in support of the government's decision. So it came as a surprise that the Gandhi family that prides itself in being part of India's greatest struggle, which was the struggle for freedom today, went against the grain. Now, the implication of the Gandhis stating their position clearly are all too obvious. Consider what Priyanka is trying to say. She's trying to say that the Congress party led by the Gandhis now sheds all ambiguities to oppose the revocation of Article 370. That the Gandhis clearly are not on board with what Jyotiraditya Sindhya, Karan Singh have said. And in fact, they've embraced what Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary and Gulam Abi Azad have said about Article 370. Implicit in this is also the fact that Pakistan will get additional ammunition against the Modi government in the international arena now. They will court the Congress party. Gandhis will now actively support attempts in the court to reverse the revocation of Article 370. Sonia Gandhi also believes it because she can hardly disassociate with the views of her daughter. You can expect the Congress now to stand with those who are challenging this particular article and the decision behind it. The Congress under Gandhis will oppose the emotional integration of Jammu and Kashmir with India. And with Priyanka now revealing the mind of the Gandhis on the issue, those in the Congress that had chosen to dissent are now essentially on notice, viewers. That's basically what all this means. All of these individuals had come out and said that the center had done the right thing. It had acted in India's interest. They may have had certain disagreements, but in the main, they backed the government at the center. Now, it's difficult not to argue that the stand spelt out by Priyanka closely mirrors Pakistan's official line on the abrogation of Article 370. In fact, if you go by the hard facts, I'm about to bring to you the similarities are suspiciously striking. First, let's look at Congress's stand. Due constitutional process not allowed when scrapping 370. That's what Priyanka Gandhi said today. What is Pakistan's narrative? Many Indian parties like the Congress sympathize with the Pakistan stand. This is being said. Let's look at the next one. Reports of violence and people dying in Jammu and Kashmir. Pakistan's narrative is that parties like the Congress sympathize with Pakistan's stand because Pakistan is saying the same thing. So on many different aspects... Many different aspects. Look at this. Look at what Pakistan's foreign office had said. 
Congress is even questioning the Kashmir move, raising it in the Supreme Court. There is such a striking similarity, viewers, and I want to open this out, and I want to ask some basic questions tonight. Tehseen Poonawala, is the Congress against the integration of India? Is the Congress against the integration of India? Mr. Suman Siraman, aren't these similarities so striking between yeah. India's, between Congress's stand and Pakistan's stand? What am I supposed to make of this? Suman Siraman, tell me. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rahul, first of all, I, I don't know why you thought that this was a story to take up today. I mean, I know, but I don't know. For the simple reason that what Priyanka Gandhi said is nothing new. It is basically the CWC resolution which was uh, released to the media a couple of days ago. So, I, 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 I don't think that she said anything which was not in that resolution. I'll tell so you. So, now sir. it's as if, you know, she's saying something new and speaking for the first I'll time. I'll tell you. I, I the don't Gandhis are back at the helm of the Congress from, Party. Because she's Till basic, now, and the Gandhis look, had kept silent in public. Yeah. A signature here and a signature there on a resolution doesn't actually count for very much. But for the first time, we heard one of the Gandhis coming out in the public hmm. domain and espousing the cause, really, of those no, no. that are what against are the trying, integration, the are, emotional no, no. integration of Jammu and Kashmir with at... India. And that's why. Now, you may not think it's new, sir, because you choose to live no, no. What, what like an ostrich. No, I'm in, just asking. No, no. I'm just with asking. Your, a with question, your head buried uh, in the sand. No, no. But this is I the just, Gandhi I just family. I want to know what is your angle that the Congress. No, no. Basically, what it's you're trying simple, to say. It's very simple, sir. That the Gandhi is, family I, today is legitimizing. No, no. One second. I'll tell you what the angle is. Congress, it's very significant if no, you no. allow me to speak. Once you ask me the question, all the members of the Congress were in favor. You're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go do ahead. the Gandhis do the Gandhis know more about securing India's national interests, especially with regards to Kashmir than Karan Singh? Is that the is that the question? No, one second, uh, Ra Ra Tell Ra Rahul. me. Karan no, no, Singh uh, said several positives in the move to scrap special status. Less. No, no. I'm asking you. The go-to man again, of the Congress not, Party thus far point. used to be you're Karan not Singh. The point. Do the if Gandhis read, know more about Kashmir than no, no, Karan if Singh? If you read that, one second, you're not allowing me to speak, you're not allowing me to speak, let me speak. In the Congress resolution also of the CWC, if you read it carefully, is actually not taking a stand on 370. They are talking about the manner in which 370 was <coughs> abrogated. So what so are you I think hearing? That there is a difference. In fact, if you if you see the speeches, Congress also, no, no, party today represented so by Priyanka Gandhi and her mother say say that it's illegal. The decision to scrap yeah. is illegal. It's illegal, sir. She doesn't support it. The it's manner illegal. in which... No, no, one second, Rahul. It is... No, no, no. One second. The manner in which the article was abrogated is the entire issue that has been raised. If you actually bother to read the CWC resolution, which I'm sure you possibly haven't because it's obviously not necessary to read the fine print, they are actually talking about the manner and please read it sir what is illegal about it they the whole of parliament has endorsed it stand. the whole of parliament has endorsed it that's no, the no. will of the people have Excuse you forgotten the, the, the no, have you assembly. forgotten sir there is that no in this assembly. country there is no, no, no state have you forgotten right sir that in this sir, country no no one minute let me explain to you have you forgotten no. i don't need to read sir any fine but print. that's not what because the, no no one the second the devil is always in the detail I also don't need to read, the need devil to, uh, is read always in the fine print it's in the detail Absolutely. and we are exposing the devil Absolutely. we are exposing the devil Anyone tonight know. have you not heard of no, that no. we will know when the honorable supreme okay. court let decides. me bring in nalin kohli no no the Rahul, national spokesperson please, of the bjp let me bring let's him in. wait for the court to decide sir please let me bring in nalin kohli the devil is in the detail. I've been asked to read the fine print. The fine print has thrown up the devilish stand that is being taken today by one of the leading lights of the Congress party. And she is disagreeing with the general secretary of the Congress party 
her colleague, immediate colleague from the same, same state called Jyotiraditya Sindhya. Now, what am I supposed to believe? Who has signed that? Who has signed the resolution? Under duress, Rahul, sir, Rahul, 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 if you go the against the family, Rahul, you are sacked. Under may duress. I? He had no option. Either he quits the but party. Mr. Shankar, may I? May I just anyhow, like let me bring in Nalin Kohli. Nalin Kohli, it's illegal. You've created a massive uh, Samanji, constitutional monstrosity. Samanji, Respond Samanji. to that. And we shouldn't be debating it. No, no. I think Samanji, Nalin Kohli, I would like to. About the yeah, with everyone's permission, I have a few points to make. Yes. May I please yeah. make a few yeah. points? S Sumanji, may I please yeah. make a few points? Sumanji. Yeah. Please, thank you. Uh, Mr. Shiv Shankar, first with humility, I would like to say, and uh, it is not the integration of Jammu and Kashmir. That happened on 24th October 1947, when the instrument of accession was signed. The language of that instrument of accession is absolutely clear. It was integrated then. That is why Jammu and Kashmir figured in the Constitution of India in the schedule, which is the first schedule, which is the states, the name of Jammu and Kashmir as a state is there. And thereafter, when the Jammu Kashmir constitution also came subsequently, within it also Article 4 was very specific that the integration is, is final. It looks at the accession instrument and thereafter it's final. The integration took place in 47. What has been done now is the removal of Article 370, which was added subsequently and clearly the language of Article 370 was temporary. The word temporary is there, unlike 371 where it is special. So that's what's happened. The second part is about the constitutional challenge. Anyone may take it to court, but I would say it, and I'd say it with a sense of responsibility, that the manner in which Narendra Modiji's government and Home Minister Amit Shahji have worked, and I say it again with a sense of responsibility, it is bound to pass any challenge because it has been constitutionally done in a very, very well thought out manner. By the constitution, through the constitutional process, and that, of course, if anyone goes to court, that all will become revealed then. We don't need to delve in it now. Three is the statement of Priyanka ji. Priyanka ji's statement, if you analyze it, the first part is she says we've always stood by the constitution, which is factually incorrect because emergency took place under Indira Gandhi during Congress rule, which was the suspension of the constitution. That wasn't the constitutional spirit and it wasn't constitutionally correct also. Number two, she then says it's constitutionally wrong that she has an opinion as in the parliament as anyone under the constitution can. However, she's not a court of law. She's not a practicing advocate. So she really doesn't know the constitution and how law works. And therefore, that statement has to be taken with a bunch, a whole handful of salt before you say it's constitutionally incorrect. And the third is the political angle to her statement. When she says this is the view and she comes out clearly with the strong view, in conflict with Janardhan Pujari, Dr. Karan Singh, Jyotiraditya Sindhya, RPN Singh, the whole lot of the Congress minus Rahul Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi, Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad and Mr. Chidambaram. Then you realize that politically it means the following. A. How can anyone have a counter view that may not be the view of the Gandhi family? Okay. Therefore, our view will be the view. It doesn't matter what your view in the party is. The, no matter how senior, elderly, experienced, whatever. The second part of the statement is equally important. How can Narendra Modi's government ever get credit for doing something, even if it is in national interest? Okay. Narendra Modi's government can't. Okay. So we have to, and the third is, R Rahul, because of these two reasons, even if Pakistan is to benefit from our statements, so be it. Okay, so be it. Tehseen Punawala, would you like to respond? Uh, just one one quick point, Rahul. One quick point. Absolutely. Uh, uh, the point is, it's not. Just I just Mr. hope Gulam I'm given the Azhar exact same Mr. courtesy. Chidambara who are in the CWC? What is the, the point last, of having me on the debate? The last I checked, there were almost two dozen members in the CWC. Okay, one Sorry. second, Mr. Suman Sri Raman. One correction. second. We were talking about the arguments that Tehsin Punawala wants to respond to now to Mr. Nalin Kohli. We know all the people who are in the CWC. We don't need a sure. civics class here on the Congress Party. Now let Tehsin <laughs> come in. Tehsin, yes, go ahead. No, but he said two members. It's okay, sir. It's members. okay. It's understood. I when she Mr. says, Kohli. when when she says, Sindhya is also part of CWC, and he has signed this, it doesn't matter because we have signed it. You see, we lay down the law. We are the bosses. We are the family that runs the firm. 
everyone else can take a walk we don't care so she said it now let's now let's establish that now tehsin punawala thank you rahul i heard mr kohli with a lot of attention and i would like to make the following submissions point number 1 mr kohli rightfully spoke about some differences of opinion within the congress he's absolutely right on that that is the rich tradition of the congress from the time when gandhi ji and nehru ji had certain differences of opinion gandhi ji and patel ji nehru and patel nehru and ambedkar gandhi and ambedkar continuing to sonia ji and manmohan singh ji continuing to do it that's called democracy that must be celebrated you can't be a party run by two and a half men now to the larger point and to the debate of 370 the congress's official stand and i kind of agree with what mr suman is saying is very clear it says look if the government wants to water down or abrogate article 370 by the way it's not abrogated it's been watered down it is its constitutional right to do so it believes this is an attack on the federal structure it believes this is not done correctly simply because as of last year apart from four other judgments the supreme court had said 370 is permanent now this is a battle for the courts nalinji is right the courts will decide on it but for priyanka ji to have a viewpoint on a thing not following the constitutional process i think we must respect that because every individual every journalist every person has a right to have that opinion that right is given to me by the constitution of india which her father opinion. her grandmother laid down their lives to protect okay mr raja gopal congress is in a deep crisis rahul shiv shankar because madam priyanka gandhi who says that it is unconstitutional hmm. madam priyanka gandhi you are not about supreme court you are not about parliament today the lok sabha speaker om birla has given an interview to times now where the every process has been undertaken and it is not an unconstitutional position and second thing madam priyanka gandhi you read rahul shivashankar's article in times of india you will get enlightened you do not read such type of things you are going only gulam nabi azad and others at least madam priyanka gandhi please speak to anand sharma who has told the prime minister that he is supporting the scrapping of 370 why congress is divided too badly second thing the wide of the congress no. split is wide open now congress is in a deep internal crisis no, it has become you. prime minister it has become a party of uh, mm. only three mother daughter son and the rest what well. p chidambaram yesterday has said was also unconstitutional according to well, me it's also because a party. he has if, unnecessarily if, if brought in he does not know what 2009 Raja in tamil Gopal nadu all tamilians no, no, were no, massacred no one minute this There is a commitment Mr. now this Mr. is a commitment Mr. Mr. no no one minute one minute this is a commitment of the congress party Mr. to Mr. democracy Mr. now watch Mr. viewers i'm going to play out a clip here this is a abp news reporter who went up to priyanka gandhi asking her to answer certain pointed questions that he wanted to put to her on what she had said about article 370 now i just want to play this out for you the congress says priyanka gandhi says that they are upholders of the finest democratic traditions now just watch as her guards threaten to kill this abp reporter and priyanka gandhi says shame, that she shame, has shame. that she has that she has the finest regards for democratic principles when you Priyanka accuse when answer, you slander reporters like for that. asking you questions now i just want to leave priyanka gandhi with two questions by slamming the abrogation of article 370 is priyanka actually favoring its discriminatory provisions that only deepen the divide between the people of jammu and kashmir is she ignoring the plight of hindu refugees from west pakistan and kashmiri women who marry non kashmiris is she ignoring the plight of those of those from the dalit community who were forced into a life of bonded penury to do a job that none of us will ever want to do think about that priyanka gandhi when you talk about constitutionalism i leave it at that the news are coming up with navika kumar